Hey, Shane, uh, how's it going? Will, uh, from uh, 77 WABC Sports, how's it going? Uh, congrats on the win, first of all. Uh, I'm a fellow New Yorker. I know you're from New York. So w what does this mean to win here and, uh, you know, probably in front of a lot of your friends and family? What does that really mean? It was awesome, man, walking out and uh, hearing the, the pop when they uh, they announced my name. It said, fighting out of Monroe, New York, and the crowd went fucking wild. That was that was electrifying. That, that was awesome to hear. Uh, that's seven in a row, seven and zero at New York. So that that's a pretty fucking cool stat. But uh, yeah, man, I'm excited. Awesome, man. Thank you. Congrats again. Thank you, Shane. You'd expressed uh, hey, you'd expressed interest in obviously resigning now that your your deal has ended. Uh, Dana also said the same thing. He really wants to to keep you as well. I mean, are there any other options after you? Or are you really looking at the UFC only? There's always options. I mean, I'm obviously willing to hear other options, but um. I pride myself in being a UFC fighter. I love fighting for the UFC. The staff is fu is amazing. It's a such a well-oiled machine, and um, I've had what, what's that? That's my 11th UFC fight. So I've had 18 total pro fights, and <laughs> 11 of them in the UFC. So it's almost like uh, I'm just so used to fighting for the UFC, and and they, it's so spoiled. Like we we have the PI making us food, and we have the the massage, the masseuses that 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 are here giving us some massages. I'm like. If these other promotions don't have that, I don't think they have much to offer. <laughs> I get you. I get you. See, you mentioned between uh, round two and three that your your legs were kind of tired out from the the body triangle, right? How does it feel like when you're moving in there? Like, what what is it like? Oh my god, that never ever felt like that, ever. I've never felt like that in training. I was gung ho on getting a finish in the first round. I thought I, I really thought I had him. I remember at one point saying, "It's done. It's over," and he got out and then the second round I get his back and I have it for like what four, four minutes of that body triangle and I felt fine holding it I wasn't squeezing terribly and then um the bell rings and I stand up and I'm like holy shit my legs like I can't even what the fuck and then my coach is like telling, co coaching me in, in, <clears throat> in the corner and then they're like how do you feel how do you feel I'm like oh I feel great I'm good I'm good I was like my legs I, standing up off the stool I was like fuck this is just going to be mental toughness and great for these next five minutes. I knew I was up to to nothing, and I and I knew that he knew that, so I knew he was going to come at me crazy in that round. Now you've obviously fought all over the state, right? But in in Madison Square Garden, a couple times you fought here. Now you fought in two places in Long Island. How does this crowd compare to you know some of the other crowds as far as them kind of welcoming welcoming you, the local guy? Yeah, I, I fought at MSG three times, and uh, that was the best crowd. That was the best crowd. That was wild. That, again, when they said my name, and then every time I would go for the choke and I'd get it on, on his neck, the crowd would go crazy. That would get me even more pumped up. That was, that was an awesome crowd. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Quick question on the – I don't know if you got a chance to see the judges' scorecards. One judge gave you a 10-8 in round two. The other is 10-9. Uh, Do you feel either which way, which one was the correct score, just in your opinion? Yeah, my brother was saying it too. I think that the the second round he said that was a ten eight, that was a ten eight. Um, I controlled the entire round. I, I almost submitted him a couple times. Um, I didn't really get hit in in that round at all. So um, yeah, I think that's a justifiable ten eight, right? I mean, it depends on what what you are you, are you judging a uh, control for ten eight, or are you judging um, almost getting a finish, or are you judging uh, damage? So it depends on what you what you what you would consider a uh, ten eight worthy. And uh, one of the judges also gave you the same judge who gave you that ten eight. Also, uh, it was a ten nine for Jordan in round three, even though it seemed like you were getting hit a lot. How are you feeling after? Because you did get hit a lot, but like you were getting in a lot back. Did you think it was maybe a ten nine or a ten eight in your head at the time? No, I, yeah. Did you ever I, think about that? I, I in the moment I didn't think about it, but think, thinking back to it, um, I don't, I don't think it was a ten eight because I don't. I was never wobbled or, or hurt. Even like he kicked me right in the face at the, at the end of the round. I remember backstage, he was like, I kicked him in the face and he just ate it. Did he eat that shit for breakfast? And I, like, and I said, that was a great kick, bro. I, I remember him hitting me in the face and me just like <laughs> slapped me right across the face and be like, all right, that was a good shot. But um, yeah, like I said, I, I wasn't hurt or anything like that. It, it looked good on his part. My legs were just cement. Hey, just a uh, final closing question. You look pretty banged up, but, uh, you know, you got the victory. What are we doing tonight? You going out and celebrating or oh, what? Oh, hell yeah, man. I'm going right back home. I only live, what, 50 miles away, so I'm going right to a local bar that's down the road from my house, parking my truck at home, walking my ass up there, and my wife going to celebrate. You just fired me up, man. Thank you. <laughs> You're invited. Shane, Jim Grease, MMA Weekly, right here. Yeah. Um, undefeated in New York. Yes, your sir. kid, I mean, here another building, another win for you in your in your home state. How's that feel? It it feels um, 
expected at this point. I mean, anytime they, they say, oh, this UFC's going to New York, I'm like, all right, my phone's going to ring any minute now. <laughs> and you were born in the Bronx right down the road from here, so a lot of people in the stands, a lot of people rooting for yeah, you here yeah. and, and your people in New York. So what's it like to go out there and put on a show like that for them against a fighter like him and to have a war like that back and forth? I, want, I wanted the finish. I really wanted the finish for the, for the crowd, for myself. Uh, I wanted that fucking finish so damn bad. Um. Overall, I, I gotta watch the fight back because my coaches and everybody keeps telling me you're gonna you're gonna think it's a lot better when you watch it back. But um, in right now sitting here, I'm not happy at all with that performance. Not even a little bit happy. Like I ended that that fight with my legs feeling like absolute dog shit. I not happy with it. Well, something to build on, right? It's, it's always better when you 100%. win. Yeah, it's better to win and, win and learn than lose and learn. So I'm definitely happy with that, and I still doubled my paycheck. So that's cool. Hindsight's twenty twenty, but uh, fuck, I got. I, Bad taste in my mouth with with uh, how that that fight ended. Hey Shane, uh, congrats on the win. Thank you. And uh, they announced they have plans to be at the Madison Square Garden around November. Uh, yeah. Those are your plans too. I, as soon as it got announced, everyone's like, "Oh, MSG in November." And I'm like, "Guys, I'm fighting Saturday. Like, <laughs> like, let me let me just freaking get to this fight. Like, we'll, we'll think about that in, in a little bit. Let me just get this fight out the way." But um. I did it three times already. Uh, it would be cool to do it again, yeah, I guess. But uh, I'm not opposed to going somewhere else. I mean, I only fought in Vegas once. I've only fought out of the out of the state only a handful of times. So if they want to send me somewhere else, uh, I'm cool with that. And honestly, I like fighting earlier. Like this is my, last time I fought in Long Island. I fought at four o'clock. This time I fight at two thirty. I'm I, I, I much rather that than the the late pay per view start time because my last fight was at ten forty five p.m. So that, that that's brutal for me. Thank you, man. Thank you. Listen, big dog, you're climbing the ranks, right? So you're going to be fighting later. That's how it goes, you know? <laughs> Put me um, in Vegas. <laughs> uh, so they were they were yelling, Burgos and, and USA. Yeah. Now yep. you're like, dude, do I go for broke right here and get wild? Or are you like, let's just play it cool so I don't get fucking... What, don't... what round? The third round? No, the whole, oh, the whole, like, whole fight. The whole fight. No, it was, it, was, it, was, yeah, it was hyping me the fuck up. I, I, dude, I'm, I, that motherfucker's tough. I had that... Oh. That on his neck, on, like cranking the, the shit out of his chin, like, get, trying to get him to force the, like you know, you you get it on his chin and then yeah. he, he's just like, all right, this hurts so bad, I'm gonna give you my neck. He wouldn't give me the neck. I was like, all right, I guess I'm just gonna break your jaw. And he wouldn't tap. I was like, holy shit, I I get in that position, and when I do get in that position, it, it's over. I, I finish. Yeah. Nothing but respect for the kid. So I'm gonna ask you a real question that everybody in this room does not know, and I don't even think you know. How do you judge a fight? Like, do you know what it takes to win a fight? Like, what is what are the specs to win a fight? I I can't answer that. I, I definitely. I, How uh, long have you been fighting for? Uh, just, uh, I've been training for sixteen years. I've been fighting for about uh, twelve years. This so, is insane. Like that's. I think it's such a cra- like. If you ask question. an NBA player, how do yeah. you win a game? More points. They have the answer. Yeah. yeah. I can ask multiple fighters. Hey, what exactly do you have to do to win a fight? That's close. Like what? Put you over the edge and like, uh, you know, damage control, uh, the octagon. There, there's so much that you see, like the yeah, breakdown, I right? It, it, it really but is a it, shit. it depends on the state, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It depends on the state, depends on the judges, it depends on uh, the crowd. Like, the crowd, I feel right. like, has a huge influence too. So, I great question. Great, I can't give you an answer. I think we, we, we can do a better job with uh, maybe judging reform, like. I, I think more fighters should be judges when they're when they retire, but there's not much incentive because I don't know if there's enough money for for the guys to make a career out of it. So you put on a show for the New Yorkers, like we talked about the other day. You were the Tiger Showman's guy, putting on a lot of the other local gyms weren't on the card, so you had that huge crowd reaction. Is it Shane Burgos wants to fight in New York every time at this point? You're undefeated <laughs> here. Is it November twelfth? You're looking at? I, like I said, I did it three times. It would be cool to do it again, but uh, maybe if they if they offer me, I'm not I'm not gonna say no. Actually, I'm I'm gonna say yes. My family, my friends, would all love that shit too because it's that's even closer than here. But um, I'm not opposed to traveling. It's just it just so happens every time a New York card comes out, I'm on it. I think I've been that was the 14th fight in New York, and I was on half of them. <laughs> so a very impressive win. You just beat Jordan, who was right on the cusp of being in the rankings. You were ranked number 14, I think, going yeah. in. I don't know if you called. Did you call anybody out post-fight? No. I, I, I Again, after that, I'm not happy with that performance. How can I call somebody out after that last one? Like, that was like... A win's a win. A win's a win, 100%. A, hundred, a billion percent. And uh, 
happy with the with the first two rounds, but fuck, man, that just, that bad bad taste in my mouth for for the way that ended, and, I, and I'm a perfectionist, and I feel like that's what's gonna make me even. It makes me hungry, and it's gonna make me even better in the long run. Being this way, um, maybe I just, just need to watch it Especially back. Especially Jordan's really young. That that win might age. Very yeah, well. yeah, yeah, yeah. He, I, I, he, th- that he will 100 percent be in the rankings. I by the time he's my age, in five years, he's 100 percent gonna be in the rankings. But give everybody an idea of what they could write about. You know, Monday morning. Who might Shane Burgos be matched up with next? Give me a name. Yeah, there's a lot. There's, there's, a, there's a lot. I definitely want something in the top 15. You got uh, me, me and Ige would be a fun fight. Me and a uh, Korean zombie would be a fun fight. Um, I don't know who else off the top of my head, but I think those those fights would be fun. You got some guys that are outside of the top 15 that will be fun. But listen, I did that twice already. <laughs> guys, give me give, give me a give me a rank guy next, right? Something that's gonna move me forward because I know on Tuesday when the rankings come out, I'm gonna be at 14 still. So that fight was kind of just for a paycheck and and, and for like a. Uh, an opportunity to, to to make something happen, but it wasn't going to propel me forward necessarily. It was more so giving him an opportunity. I mean, it was it was his chance to get ranked, and it was just my chance to to, to secure my paycheck. Shane, you're my homie. My dog. Just, listen, I'm out of the game now, so now I see things differently. Right? There is so my manager one time was after your fight, right? You get the mic and they're talking to you. Like that's your, in that thirty seconds. That is your time to call somebody out, and they're going to hear it. And it's a fight that favors you because that's the fight you think you could win, right? And that guy's – I've been on the other end, like, where someone's like, yo, I want to fight so-and-so. And I was like, oh, my God. I was like, what? What are you saying? Like, I'll fight him. Just, you know what I mean? I don't care. Like, fuck that guy. Um, I think that's to your advantage, and you only have, like, 30 seconds to get it out there, and that's the time to, boom, send it home, you know? So Korean Zombie's next. I – I need you to take that one for me. I need him to fall. All right. Well, we, hey, <laughs> we'll, we shall see. But first things first, I'm technically not a UFC fighter right now, right? That was my last fight of my deal. Uh, so get that we, money. We, yeah, we got we to we get a new contract going. Let's go from there. And then once we're done with that, then we'll see who's next. So real quick, uh, for those at home who don't know, that is Dennis Bermudez on the mic behind. <laughs> uh, that is why it sounds so very familiar. You mentioned earlier, you know, different when scoring a uh, fight, different venues, different judges. Do you, as a fighter, if you hear a judge or you hear a ref, or even like they want to book you in a spot that you don't like, do you have ones you just like? Oh man, this guy. Yeah, I'm not gonna throw anyone under the bus, but definitely. <laughs> throw them. <laughs> no, I was about to say, <laughs> please. <It's> awesome. <laughs> and if, maybe next time. Maybe next time, but. Uh, I'm not gonna do it right now, but yeah, there, there's definitely. The, He's doing good in New York. Yeah, you got Yeah, exactly. You gotta get these guys. There needs to be like a straight. I don't know what. What's the? Does anyone know what the requirement is to be a judge? Like what? I'm assuming they have to go to a course or something, right? There's a course next week in Niagara. And and what is it? A one-time course, and then that's it. You're certified to be a judge. And what is it? Two hours long. It's all day. Okay, all day. All right, well, that's better. But I feel is, is there testing? Like is there? Um, yeah. yeah. Okay, so all right, so there's shit. one in Texas as well. I think also. Uh, but it, are, is that one the same as in Niagara Falls? The one in Niagara is the ABC Boxing Commission. And is it so? It's not, it's not the same. Well, it's the Texas Boxing Commission, I think, down there. It's, that's see, that's the problem because you gotta have. It's gotta be uniform. It's gotta be universal. Well, that's the problem. We made universal rules, but we don't have universal judging, if you will. It doesn't. Athletic that, commissions. That doesn't make sense, and and I see a lot of people complaining about the ten nine point system, which. I, it, it, it's not boxing. It's you got to judge it differently. How, how could you? It, it's completely different. And also, not every location still uses the unified rules as well. Exactly. So yeah, I think we could do a little bit better uh, cleaning up the sport in that regard. Yeah. How would you judge it? Oh. Mike, seventy-seven WABC. How would you personally put into action? Um, judging? live score, live scoring. I'm not. I'm not too big of a fan of live scoring. I don't think that, that that that's the way to to necessarily do it. And more judges. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. More judges, because you got three judges and two of them aren't that educated. Then there you go, you're fucked. But you got more. Let's do five judges in maybe a backstage room because you know when you're watching a fight from the crowd, it's not necessarily the same as if you're watching it on TV. I think the TV is the best way to see it. So judges backstage, like in a room like this. Separately too, not with no other influence, so they're not around each other. Like one guy's in the room over here, one guy's in the room over here, one guy's in the room over here. They're all watching it by themselves, and that's their job. They're getting paid to do that. So let's add more judges in a room by themselves. Let's do five judges. I think that makes more sense to me. Thank you. No problem. Thank you guys. Good work.